You see what I'm saying? So we're going to switch up a little bit and uh, move on to our next topic, which is going to be what's going on this weekend with this Chris Eubank Jr. versus Liam Williams and Clarissa Shields versus a Emma Cozen card that's happening on um, here in the States, by the way. It's a $30 pay-per-view. Crazy D says, Clemen said Fury backed out the Usyk fight. Well, listen, it's, he, it's a whole bunch of, he said, she said, going around from all sides. I'm just going by, you know, like my opinion and what we've been seeing so far. But to go on to um, what's going on with this Liam Williams card, I don't know how I feel about this card. Maybe if it wasn't pay-per-view, you know, here in the States, maybe I would be a little more um, like enthusiastic. Here's the card, by the way. This is a midday card for us here in the States, the um, second of, of the three significant cards. The first major card of this weekend, boxing card, is uh, Keith Thurman versus Mario Barrios, which we're going to talk about next. This is a midday card here in the States, over in the UK, you know, um, on Sky Sports. Chris Eubank Jr. versus Liam Williams. Clarissa Shields versus Emma Cozen. Adewaline is back. Taking on a uh, Camille Skolowski. Harlem Eubank is on the card. And Caroline Dubois, the sister of Danny Dubois, is on the card. Chris Eubank Jr., here, let me pull up the rankings here, is competing at what he says is his, his like, official weight division, the 160-pound division. You know, his time at 168, you know, he's saying, you know, it was just too big for him. Jamal Charler, we're waiting to see what's going to happen with him. You know, if he's going to be moving up to take on Canelo Alvarez at 168 for Undisputed. Royuto Murata and Golovkin, you know, we're waiting for. And that fight is happening. For people who are, who are saying Golovkin should fight somebody else, Murata should fight somebody else, it's too much money, you know, involved with Murata and Golovkin over in Japan for them to go other ways. And also, the fight was postponed because there's travel restrictions and COVID. Contracts are already signed. The event is happening. Ryoto Murata versus Golovkin for the WB Super and IBF 160-pound um, uh, titles. Golovkin is also rumored to have gotten a deal offered from the zone to take on Canelo. Canelo would have to accept if Canelo doesn't fight Makabu or Charlo. Canelo would fight Bevo and then Golovkin after that. And I'm guessing Golovkin would move to 168. Demetrius Andre is vacating his 160-pound WBO title after he had a purse bid with um, Zanzibak Amnakunuli, Kunali, I don't know how to pronounce his name, even though I've covered him twice now and I keep butchering it. Every now and then I get it right, though. Uh, so Andre's moving up to 168 and trying to, you know, fight Zach Parker to become Canelo's 168-pound mandatory, just chasing him up the division. And you have Eubank Jr. here taking on a Liam Williams. Last fight, I don't even remember if I covered this one. He's been doing a bunch of nothing since uh, Matt Van Korobov on this PBC card blew out his shoulder. James DeGale was a pretty um, uh, impressive win. But James DeGale, worn, torn, battle worn, but still pretty impressive win nonetheless. And then, you know, losing to George Groves. And George Groves had one arm. And, you know, he was told he should finish. Avni Yildirim knocked him out. But now at 31 years, 32 years old, trained by Roy Jones, it's like, all right, bro, it's time to do something. But looking at the 130-pound, I mean, 160-pound division, what does he do? What path do you take him? You keep him on that WBA path, right? Because with the WBA, he's ranked number one. So depending on what Mungi is going to do, you know, he could be fighting to be, every, and there's not supposed to be any more interim champions at, at, in the WBA. So I'm guessing he, you know, if he beats Liam Williams, who's ranked number six, right? It's safe to say. That he should be fighting in an eliminator to be the mandatory. I'm not too interested in this fight, by the way. Not at all. 
Liam Williams, 23-3-1 with 18 KOs. Lost to Demetrius Andre, unanimous decision. Got a win over Atlantis Fox. All the other wins, you know, the two losses to Liam Smith. I really don't see nothing really, like, there special. But one fight I am interested in, though, is Clarissa Shields' fight. I got to watch, I got a chance to watch some tape on this Emma Koza. And 20 0 and 1 with 11 K is Southpaw from Slovenia. A black girl from Slovenia. 23 years old, the princess. She looks heavy handed, kinda. You know, slow, but like heavy handed. Like, you know, but kind of sharp a little bit. I don't know. It is a little shocking that Clarissa Shields is only 11, like, only had 11 fights. That's a little crazy to me. Cruz Desern. Tori Nussen was over the hill. The Hannah Gabriels fight. Very good fight aging well. Hannah Rankin, very good fight aging well. Christina Hammer. Marie DeCare, very good fight aging well. The big controversy with the Ivana Hobson Hobson fight, aging well. You know? That's going to be on fight.tv.